Hello everyone. Yep, back in Birmingham again. I uh, just thought I'd start with this place. Um, I mean, obviously this um, this has been licensed by um, by the local council or or whoever. Um, sort of graffiti. I mean, you must have seen places like this where where you live. Um, but as you can see, there's a predominant sort of like hip hop bias. Um, so that may have something to do with the artists involved. Uh, obviously quite talented, whoever, whoever they were who did it. Uh, however, <laughs> right next door, we've got this um, empty place here. We have moved. Uh, another car going past. Uh, more photographers in the distance there. Um, and then this place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that used to be. It, it says the S Rose. Um, and then comparing that graffiti on the wall there, you get a bit sort of like rubbish graffiti around here. In fact, I mean, the, the graffiti on, on the top of that wall there is not that imaginative. So, um, yeah, so I'll put it back on me. Uh, yeah, so I'm back in Birmingham again. I just thought I'd say, I mean, as a follow-up to my uh, my last video about sort of, you know, the decline of heavy metal music, especially in, in places like Birmingham, that if you come back to, um, if you come back to places like this, then, you, you know, you can kind of see how sort of heavy metal has only been like one facet of the, either the culture or the music that's been going on. Um, I've got some more, got some more um, not so good uh, graffiti. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, yeah, look at all that there. It's it's dead. It's dead, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. So so anyway, coming back to to me. Um, yeah, the, the whole thing, I mean, like, it's not just like heavy metal music. I mean, it's like, this, it's all like the, um, all that dance music and um, maybe like the hip-hop stuff's running its course now a bit more. Uh, what else am I going to say? Um, and like all that post-rock stuff, I mean, since I made the video, um, you know, YouTube sort of like plays a load of lists that are like, if you like this, you might like this as well. Well, it was showing up like a lot of um, like Johnny Marr stuff and um, and all that post rock and uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, but that's Manchester. Now, the thing is that, in my opinion, anyway, all that post rock stuff seems to have run its course. That is equally as, as vapid as the heavy metal music. Uh, oh, look, train coming. So, um, yeah. yeah, anyway. Um, and so, like, so it's only a matter of time before that and, like, house trance music, uh, hip hop, whatever else. Oh, well, yeah, more rubbish graffiti here now. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's only a matter of time before all that stuff burns out as well. Um, so what we really need is some sort of like grass movement, grassroots thing. Like, like um, so it's more about, well, let's not worry about labels and, um, you know, what, what style we're in or, or, or we won't get signed to this label or that label or or whatever and let's just let's just get together and just just do something new you know just try something out because uh, otherwise I mean it's it I mean if getting back to like that last video I did I mean if records are done by demographics and data analytics and then we like say we're fans of the music that we go out and buy those records then we're just copying the record we're not taking any notice of uh, 
of what's going on around here, for example. I mean, this is just one place. Um, you know, so, so I mean, if that, that model just doesn't work, you've got to, got to throw that out completely and just get back to just grassroots, you know, just enjoying playing the music again and, um, you know, making new friends, trying new things out and then seeing how it goes. Uh, so, yeah, so only short today, but I just wanted to do this brief uh, follow up uh, just to give you, give you a bit more depth. OK, if you like the video, please comment below. Uh, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. All right. Thanks very much.